Salutations, and welcome back to another episode of How to Play City of Heroes Homecoming. Today we're going to be focusing on enhancements, particularly what we call IOs or Vision Origins. But we're also going to kind of just give a big overview of all of them as well. Um, when you, uh, we're going to be in Steel City today, this is Steel City South. There's a university here where you can make Invention Origins or IOs. So that is where I am flying my character to head over there. We're going to open up some windows and, and kind of go over enhancements from the bottom up, at least low level enhancements. The, the enhancements that you're going to use as you're going through the leveling up process. When you get to end game, there's a, there's a whole new world there of like different types. We're not going to get into those today. So if you watch my earlier video, you remember that I talked about a couple of different uh, enhancement types. First off, we have what we call DOs or dual origins. You can kind of see here in the corner, a dual origin has two different uh, origins on it. This one has mutation and science. And this one says it'll increase my damage by one of my powers by 17%. Dual origins are the cheapest kind, uh, but they are the weakest as well. Now next to it, I have a SO or single origin. This one is for science. My character is a science character, and that's generally what the vendors will sell to me when I go to them. And the science one increases my damage by 35%. That's twice as much, and it pretty much costs twice as much, but it's twice as effective. And it's what you should be using. If you followed my earlier guide on how to make money, you shouldn't have a problem. This character right now has 10 million on him, and he didn't get that from my other characters or anybody else. He earned that just by playing the game normally going through the story arcs and selling merit badges as i have talked about in those other videos so um, now the thing about so's and do's is they're only good for three levels above and below so as you can see on the screen here i have origins that say 25 and that number is in red the problem is my character is 29. if he was 28 they would still work but he's 29 he's more than three levels higher or lower so that means they're all going to turn red and they are going to be completely useless if i mouse over that origin it'll say this enhancement is too weak to improve your powers you may still use it to improve other enhancements but it is essentially useless i need to put in new powers now i can take this brand new level 30 one i got and you can be three levels above or below this 30 is above my level by a little bit but not by a lot and i can i can go ahead and slide that guy into one of these slots just like this and you can see here, as I hold it over here, it will increase my powers by 36.7%, and I'll get a nice little little boost from that, right? And if you're wondering why the percentage is higher, it advertises 35%, but when I slide it over, it says 36.7. That's because if it's a higher level, it'll give you a little bit more than what it advertises if you're a low-level character. Um, but it's it's close enough. So I can put that in there, and it'll try to combine it with the old one because it's the same type. Um, and if it's successful, I get one more extra level out of it, but 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 nothing too big. Okay, um, so there we go. Now, there's another type of enhancement that's called IO. IOs are very similar in power to the SOs or the single origins. However, they never expire. As you level up and you go three levels, four levels, five levels past the number that's on them, they will continue to operate and they won't turn red like these will. When characters get into their 20s, um, or, you know, um, th then players will usually start switching out their SOs for IOs, so they don't have to worry about them again until they're 50. When you get to level 50, that's a whole nother video and how you want to uh, gear up your character at 50. But uh, for, for this level range, you want to start looking at SOs. Now, SOs, you don't want to get, uh, I'm sorry, IOs. The Invention Origins, you don't want to get those too early. If we take a look at the workbench here, and I'll show you over here, we can click on the workbench, and there's all kinds of, of, of different types of IOs we can make, accuracy, damage, and the such. And you can see if I look at the level 10 recipe and I mouse over it, it only increases damage by 11%. Now, it won't break. I can equip this and it'll work, but it's only giving me 11%. The level 15 version gives me 19%. The level 20 version gives me 25%. And you can equip that. Um, or the level 20 version, you can equip at level 17 uh, and whatnot. Uh, the level 25 version gives me 32%. 
Now, as you go down the line and you go up every five levels, those percentages start to get less and those percentage jumps get less and less. So the level 25 one is good for 32%. The level 30 one is good for 34.8 or about 35%. Level 35 is only 36.7. So usually it's around this this level, either the 25 or the 30, uh, sometimes the 35, that people will, will go ahead and just lock into their IOs, and this is going to take them all the way to 50. And if I go all the way up to the level 51, that's 42%. It's not even that big of a jump, and those get really expensive, but you can't even equip until you're like 47. So you do you as far as when you want to pick. I personally like doing it right about now. Um, when I'm like 27, 28, 29, I'll get the level 30 ones because it's a nice 35% boost. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now, you have to craft these things or buy them off the auction house. That's your two main ways of getting IOs. And we're going to show both of them today. And both of them require the auction house because even if you craft them, you probably need some materials from the auction house. As you can see here, there's some words in red. Those are ingredients that I'm missing. So I can't even craft this red, uh, this red IO yet. Um, and I do want the level 31 actually, so but I can't craft it yet. So I can go to the auction house. Remember, we do that by hit it by going down into chat and typing forward slash ah, and that'll bring this guy up here. I'll make the screen a little bigger so you guys can see that a little bit easier. There, there we go. But you can see it says um, um, forward slash ah brings up the auction house, and we can take a look for damage inventions. We can do that by going to Enhancements, Crafted Enhancements, because we're crafting these. Now, there's a whole bunch listed here right away that you might be drawn to. These are what we call sets, and we're not going to really get into those for this video. Uh, we're going to stick with good old-fashioned, straightforward, cheap uh, IOs, because this is perfectly fine, in my opinion, for leveling. It's what the vast majority of players do through leveling. Once you have some level 50s and you're swimming in money, feel free to level a different way. But that's beyond the scope of this video. So if I look for a damage invention right here, you can kind of see there's a level 30. So I can buy this straight off. Uh, they're selling for 100,000. And if I craft it, well, there's a couple of costs involved. First off, I need to buy the recipe. Every IO uh, you build requires a recipe as a component and it consumes that recipe when you make it. The recipe for the level 30 IO here costs 30,000. But then in crafting it, I need three materials iron, a masterwork weapon, but I also need influence of 41,000. So the minimum cost to create this is 80,000. Um, it looks like they're selling for 100,000 on the, the, the auction house. And I need a bunch of these for my character. Um, for me, it's worth an extra 20,000 not to build it myself. I've got nearly 10 million. That's not, you know, that's worth the convenience. So I'm going to see if I can buy 10 of these because I need that many for my character. That's a million, but I need a lot. It takes a lot to, to kite out your character. And I'm getting a lot of them bought right there, just like that. Boom, 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 boom. They're just coming in right there. You're seeing it in real time. So I can grab those. I can get those. They'll go into my inventory and I can slot those in in a bit. Now, another one that I need a lot of is accuracy. Let's take a look at the um, accuracy and see if those are for sale. Those tend to be in short supply. So it looks like they're only 25,000, but if you pay attention, it's really hard probably to read this on YouTube, but it says there's only 14 for sale and there's 400 bids. Chances are I'm not going to be able to get them for 25,000. That was probably just a fluke in the history. I'll try to put down 100,000. I'd be happy to get them for 100,000 and see if I can get a bunch that way. Actually, I don't think I, I'll start off with just five. I don't think I need 10. We'll see. Um, actually, I got two. I got two. So that's that's better than none. I'm going to take those two. Now, I could bid more and maybe get those last 12 that are left over, but I'm not going to do that. That's getting into a lot of unnecessary expenditure. We're going to make our last few um, accuracies here. So if we go into level 30 accuracy here, um, it says I need alchemical uh, silver right here. So I'm going to go into the auction house. I'm going to type in alchemical silver. There are 500 each. I'm going to buy five of them because I'm sure I'm going to need them for other stuff. Make offer. And boom, they're bought. And I'll hit get. And now I've got enough to make this res accurate, uh, this invention here. Go ahead and hit buy to buy the recipe for 30000 
and then I'll go ahead and craft it, which will cost me another 40,000. So I got a grand total. I spent a grand total of like 70,000 plus 500 for the silver. Now, you might be able to make a bunch of these, sell them on the auction house, make a little bit of profit. I don't think there's a lot of margin there, but you do you. Um, we will do be doing another video very here shortly on how to make money on the auction house. But this is how you make um, IOs. So, and now I go into my character sheet and I just drag those IOs over to my character. So I'll drag this over to flares, for example. And we're gonna see that says 30 and it's on the top in blue, meaning it's never gonna go bad, it's never gonna break. I can be at level 50 and this will still give me the same 34%. Now when I get to 30, uh, when I get to level 50, I'm gonna to wanna to buy better ones because there's higher percentages available, plus there's sets which give extra bonuses and things like that. So, uh, but for level 30 through 50, this is perfectly peachy keen and will do just fine. And I won't have to worry about upgrading this particular enhancement again. And I'll go ahead and do those with the rest of my powers. And this character will be set up and ready to go. This does take a while. It does take a lot of time to kind of put these together. I usually plan at least an hour whenever I'm taking a character through this transition. Because otherwise, if I was just gonna upgrade his SOs, I could hit the upgrade button down here. And what this does is it will automatically upgrade all of my SOs to the next tier up, which is like 30 or whatever it may be, upgrade to 32. Um, but you see here that will cost me uh, 1.4 million. So you can do it that way, uh, but that cost is only going to keep going up faster and faster every five levels or so. So um, IOs can be a bit expensive, you've seen. Uh, they're running about 100,000 each or 80,000 if I'm crafting them. And I've got what, four. Well, let's see here. It says I can do uh, 40 enhancements. So if I do 40 times 100, that's 4 million. Uh, that, that's 4 million. And that's a lot. If you weren't following my guide on how to make money, you won't be able to afford that. So make sure you pay attention to that video. Like I said, I have 10 million here and I have money to spare. I still have more I could sell uh, from the merit rewards. I could have had more money in my pocket. So this is not really a big cost to me either way. But you can play the game how you want. But this is what I usually recommend. Get your IOs uh, at my personal my personal opinion is I get them at 27. I'll get the level 31s. And then as you level up some more, some extra slots will come up and you'll have to fill those in, of course. But that is how to kind of do the mid-tier upgrades and a quick you know, overview of the dual origins uh, and the single origins as well that you would normally use. I would normally use my advice is get your single origins starting at level seven, you get the level 10 ones because you can afford it with merit rewards and keep doing that every five levels. So it's level seven, level 12, level 17, level 22. You're going to get SOs. And again, you can just hit this upgrade button down here and it will upgrade those. You don't even have to go to a store. You can upgrade them just using the upgrade button. But once you get to level 27, um, some people like to put that off until level 32. Some people like to do it earlier at 22. My personal opinion in the middle, 27, buy your level 30 IOs, and that will set you into level 50. So that is what I have for you guys today. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, next video will be how to make profit, fun and profit off the auction house with recipes. So I'll see you soon.